Good morning, students. As in our first live class, we have started unitary method. In this video, I am providing you if you were not connected on that live class, and if somehow any doubt is there, you can get all the benefit that no doubt should be there in your mind. Unitary method. The name of the chapter is unitary method. It is chapter number. Seven in your mathematics book. Now we will learn about unitary method. First thing we will learn about unit. That what is unit? Unit means one. Unit. The meaning of unit is one. It means that one we have to remember. That what does one means? Now in unitary method, we are going to solve two types of problem. first one is based on direct variation and second one is based on <coughs> indirect variation the first one is direct variation and second one is indirect indirect is also known as inverse variation first thing we will understand that what is direct variation and what is indirect variation these two things first we will understand before understanding these two things first we will understand about there are two quantities given in any question there are always two quantities given in any questions there are two quantity which will be given in any question now let us take an example then we will understand these two type of variation suppose first i write a statement a statement i am writing cost of 3 pen cost of 3 pens is rupees 15 here two quantity is there the first quantity is this 3 and this 3 represents number of pen this is the first quantity the second quantity is 15 it represents price these are the two quantities now we will learn about direct variation according to these two quantities we will learn about direct variation now direct variation says that if first quantity is increased then second quantity also gets increased if first quantity is increased then second quantity will also increase like in the same example which we have taken now these two quantities if we are increasing the value of first quantity then automatically the value of second quantity will also be increased and these type of question comes under direct variation now let us see cost of 3 pen is 15 now suppose here in place of 3 if i will write cost of 6 pen cost of 6 pens it means that i have increased the value from 3 to 6 to do you think that this price will also increase yes this will also increase because we are purchasing more pen and for purchasing more pen we have to pay more money the pen will be rupees 30 so as i have increased the first quantity that means number of pen second quantity automatically gets increased so this type of question comes under direct variation next we will see indirect variation in indirect or inverse variation again there is two quantity two quantities will be found again suppose let us take an example one labor can paint a room in four days see i have taken an example one labor can paint a room in 4 days one labor can paint a room in 4 days 
now what do you think if i will this is the first quantity number of labor is the first quantity days this is the second quantity or you can say that time this is the second quantity now what do you think that if first quantity will increase what will be the effect in the second quantity so in inverse variation in the inverse variation case if first quantity is increased first quantity is increased then second quantity is decreased in inverse variation if first quantity is increased then second quantity will automatically decrease just take the same example and just think of your mind that if we are increasing one labor to two labor if two labor will be there definitely they will complete the work fast they might be completing the work in two days because if two labors are there they will they both will work and the work will be completed as fast as possible that means that i have increased the first quantity and the second quantity which were four days has been decreased so this is called inverse variation i hope that the difference or the concept of direct variation and indirect variation is clear to you now what we have to do we have to first identify the question that whether the question is in direct variation or the question is in indirect variation if the first quantity and second quantity both are increasing or both are decreasing it means that the quant the question is in direct variation if the first quantity is increasing and second quantity is decreasing that means it is in inverse variation so let us solve the exercise question first three question i have solved in the live class and the same question i am repeating it again with some more question so that in a week we are getting only two live classes and two live classes is not sufficient for us so we will do something some questions on videos also and i will give you the syllabus for the second term also in this term i am going to teach you six chapters and six chapter will be asked in the second term now without making any wasting any time let us start our first exercise in which i will tell you in which i will teach you what are the steps for solving the question of direct variation and what are the steps for solving the question in inverse variation let us start let us begin with our exercise 7a in which we will see the first question you all can see the first question from your book the first question says weight of eight identical the meaning of identical is same weight of eight identical here you can see the question weight of eight identical articles is 4.8 kg it means that this is the first step as unitary method it the question will be solved in three steps the questions will be solved in all questions will be solved in three steps in both the variation all the questions will be solved in three step the first step first step will be given in question the first step will be given in question second step is to calculate value of calculate value of one that means you have to calculate the value of unit third step will be asked in question third step will be asked in the question now let us solve the first question according to this and first we will recognize whether the question is in direct or indirect the first question says weight of eight identical articles is 4.8 kg it means question is saying 
द वेट ऑफ एट आर्टिकल इज फोर पॉइंट एट के जी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वान्टिटी दिस इज द सेकेंड क्वान्टिटी एंड वी ऑल नो दैट इफ वी विल इंक्रीज द आर्टिकल नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल ऑब्वियसली देयर वेट विल बी इंक्रीज इट मीन्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन एंड क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वॉट इज द वेट ऑफ इलेवन सच आर्टिकल क्वेश्चन हैज आस्क If the weight of eight article is four point eight kg, what will be the weight of eleven article? Let us solve by the steps. What I have written here, first step will be given in question. So what is given in question? The weight of eight articles is equal to rupees. Uh, sorry, is equal to four point eight kg. Weight of eight article is four point eight kg. What is the second step? Second step is to calculate the value of one. It means value of one article. The second, we will calculate weight of one article. Since the question is in direct variation, what we have to do in second step? Second step, we will perform division. Remember one thing: in the case of direct variation, second step will be division. okay and in case of inverse variation second step will be multiplication this is the change now what is the third step will be asked in the question what question has asked question has asked us what is the weight of 11 such article so we will calculate weight of 11 article if we are knowing the weight of one article this is the weight of one article if you want to reduce it and calculate the value you can calculate or leave it as it is weight of one article is this what will be the weight of 11 it means third step we have to do multiplication this is the weight of one article multiplied by 11 this will be the weight of 11 article let us calculate when this point will be removed 10 will be there 8 6 48 6 into 11 66 by 10 66 by 10 means 6.6 kg this will be your answer therefore weight of 11 article will be 6.6 kg similarly we are going to solve question number 2 our second question is question is saying you can look the question in your book six books weight 1 point second question is saying six book Weight one point two six zero kg. It means that weight of six book is given one point two six zero kg. How many book will be weight three point one five zero kg? Here two quantity is given. First is six book weight one point two six zero kg. Two quantities are there. First is number of book. Second is 1.260 kg and these two quantity and the question is asking how many books in the next step question is asking number of books here what you have to do whatever quantity is being asked by the question that should be kept on the right hand side whenever you form a statement like in question in the book it is given statement like this but while solving we will write the statement 1.260 kg is the weight of six books we will change the statement so that whatever quantity is being asked in the question that should be on the right hand side second step we all know that one we should reach to one and this is the question of direct variation therefore in the second step there will be division and third step question is saying 3.150 kg we will put 3.150 kg is the weight of 6 divided by 1.260 into 3.150 now what we will do we will reduce it after decimal three digit after decimal three digit decimal removed zero zero cancelled in the next step 6 by 126 into 315 6 to get 12 6 one just 6 Now we will reduce it by three. Three seven ja twenty one. Three one ja three zero three five ja fifteen. Seven one ja seven seven five thirty five. It means that fifteen books will be there whose weight will be three point one five zero kg. This will be our answer. 
these two questions were the questions of direct variation now third question is the question of indirect or inverse variation let us try to solve question number 3 is of inverse variation let us see the question eight men completes a work in 6 hour question the first line is saying eight men can complete work in 6 hours you can see that the first quantity it is number of men and second quantity is time and we all can assume uh, imagine that if we are increasing number of men if number of men is there more then time will be less they can complete the work very fastly so that this type of question comes in inverse variation in inverse variation the second step we will reach to 1 and in the second step we will do multiplication one man can complete work in second step in direct variation we were doing division in the second step but in inverse variation we will do multiplication that is 6 into 8 in the third step whatever question is asking that is in how many hours 12 men 12 men can complete in how many hours the 12 men can complete so fastly it will be less than 6 so 12 men can complete work in third step here it will be division 6 into 8 divided by 12 6 to 12 2 4 8 it means that 12 men can complete work in 4 hours hope that both type of question is clear to you all now apart from these question we will discuss each and every question and then according to that I will instruct you which one question is in direct and which is in indirect and you have to solve in by your own indirect uh, whatever the question is in <coughs> if the question is in direct variation second step division third step multiplication if question is in inverse variation second step multiplication and third step division and you will solve most of the question by your own let us see question number four question number four is saying if a 25 centimeter long candle burns for 45 minute 25 centimeter candle burns for 45 minute this is the question of direct variation since if the candle the length of the candle is more it will burn for a longer time that's why this question is in direct variation question is asking how long will another candle of the same material and same thickness but 5 centimeter longer it means 25 plus 5 30 centimeter question is asking how long will a 30 centimeter long candle will burn so you will solve in direct variation question fifth question a typist take 80 minute to type 24 pages a typist a person who is typing some pages it takes 80 minutes to type 24 pages then question it this question is also in direct variation it means that if the typist will get some more time it will type very fast that's why it is in direct variation 80 minutes to type 24 pages how long he will take to type 87 pages how much time time we will change the format of the statement it means we will write the statement 24 pages is being typed in 80 minute then one pages then we will reach to 87 pages as I have told you earlier that whatever quantity is being asked in the question that will be on the right hand side of the statement now question number six question number six whenever you say see that men and work time and work men and work question is there that those type of question are in inverse variation like question number six is saying 750 rupees 750 support a person for 15 days if a person is having rupees 750 a person can live their life for 15 days for how many days 2500 support the same person if amount is increased it means person can survive for some more days this question is in direct variation you will solve it 
दैट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन दिस वन इज इन इनवर्स वेरिएशन सिंस क्वेश्चन इज हैविंग मेन फोर हंड्रेड मेन हैव प्रोविजन फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री वीक प्रोविजन मीन्स परमिशन यू कैन से तो फोर हंड्रेड मैन हैविंग सम परमिशन फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री वीक्स इफ नंबर ऑफ मैन विल बी इंक्रीज द प्रोविजन विल डिक्रीज दे दे आर ज्वाइंड बाई सिक्सटी मैन इट मीन्स न्यू नंबर ऑफ मैन इज फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी हाउ लॉन्ग विल द प्रोविजन लास्ट इट मीन्स इफ नंबर ऑफ मैन इज इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ वीक द टाइम ड्यूरेशन विल डिक्रीज तो यू विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एज इनवर्स वेरिएशन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ऑल्सो यू विल सॉल्व एज इनवर्स वेरिएशन बिकॉज मैन एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ऑल्सो मैन इज देयर दैट्स वाई इट विल बी इनवर्स वेरिएशन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इफ द इंटरेस्ट ऑन टू हंड्रेड बी ट्वेंटी फाइव इन अ सर्टन टाइम इन वॉट टाइम वॉट विल बी द इंटरेस्ट ऑन सेवन फिफ्टी एट द सेम टाइम ना क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग इन ट्वेंटी फाइव फॉर रुपीज टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द इंटरेस्ट देन फॉर रुपीज सेवन फिफ्टी इंटरेस्ट विल इंक्रीज दैट्स वाई दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन सिमिलरली यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दीज क्वेश्चन एंड वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व यू कैन आस्क द क्वेरी इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप और पर्सनली पर्सनली यू शुड आस्क पर्सनली टू मी बिकॉज इन व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप सम मैसेजेस आर गोइंग सो मच डाउन सो आई एम अनेबल टू व्यू दोज मैसेजेस यू जस्ट ट्राई इट वंस इफ एव इफ एनी क्वेश्चन इफ एनी डाउट यू आर हैविंग इन एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी बाई गिविंग अ रिंगिंग अ कॉल by giving a call to me that will be more favorable that sir you call me and that sir i have i was unable to solve this question please help me out i will make a video or i will insist you how to solve the question or in the next video i will add that question similarly exercise 7b we will start in the next video so today your task is to solve exercise 7a and let us do one few question more because the question the exercise is very big and we have to solve most of the question as much question as we will solve that which that much we will understand let me take any one question and solve it for you to make you more understand now let us see directly question number 17 randomly i have picked question number 17 Three question we will more do do more and I will pick randomly those questions. Like question number seventeen is saying a man earns five thousand eight hundred in ten days. Statement is a man earns five thousand eight hundred in ten days. Now if a person will work for more days he will earn more. That's why this question is in direct. Variation. This question is in direct variation. If a person is working more, then he will earn more. Next line says, how much will he earn in the month of February of a leap year? Question has asked, in the February of a leap year, how much he will earn? This quantity is being asked. So we will interchange the statement. This statement we will not take. because the quantity which is being asked that should be on the right hand side so we will change the statement we will write like this in 10 days a man earns rupees 5800 now second step we should reach to 1 in one day a man earn since this is a question of direct variation second step will be division divided by 10 now question is asked in a leap year and in, in the month of february in a leap year so we all know that in february there are 28 days but in leap year there are 29 days so question is asking in 29 days how much a man will earn since the question is in direct variation the third step will be multiplication we we'll multiply by 29 Reduce these two zero zero. Now next step five eighty into twenty nine. Your task is to multiply whatever multiplication after result you will get. That will be the answer. That means the man will earn that much amount for working twenty nine days. 
होप दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो क्लियर टू यू ऑल वन मोर क्वेश्चन वी विल टेक क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन लेट एस टेक क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इज इन टायर इन डायरेक्ट और इनवर्स वेरिएशन लेट एस सॉल्व यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द स्टेप्स रेस्ट इफ यू विल फॉलो द स्टेप देन इट विल बिकम वेरी इजियर फॉर सॉल्विंग यू ओनली यू हैव टू सॉल्व प्रॉपरली अदरवाइज यू विल गेट द एंसर रॉन्ग नाउ लेट एस रीड क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इज सेइंग वन ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टूडेंट हैव फूड सफिशियंट फॉर एटीन डेज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टूडेंट्स हैव फूड सफिशियंट फॉर हाउ मेनी डेज इट इज गिवेन एटीन डेज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टूडेंट हैव फूड सफिशियंट फॉर एटीन डेज इट मीन्स दैट वी ऑल कैन अंडरस्टैंड इफ नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट इज इंक्रीज द कंजम्पन ऑफ फूड विल बी मोर एंड इट विल लास्ट फॉर मच लेस टाइम इट मीन्स इफ स्टूडेंट इज इंक्रीज दिस विल बी नंबर ऑफ डेज विल बी डिक्रीज न क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग इफ ट्वेंटी मोर मोर स्टूडेंट ज्वाइन ट्वेंटी मोर ट्वेंटी फाइव मोर स्टूडेंट ज्वाइन इट मीन्स अर्लियर इट वॉज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड अगेन इफ ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टूडेंट हैव ज्वाइन इट विल बिकम वन फिफ्टी तो सेकेंड स्टेप वी विल रीच टू वन वन स्टूडेंट हैव फूड सफिशियंट फॉर एटीन इन द इनवर्स द सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट वी विल डू वी विल डू मल्टीप्लीकेशन इट विल बी एटीन इन टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्ड स्टेप द क्वेश्चन हैज आस इफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मोर स्टूडेंट इट मीन्स वन फिफ्टी इज द न्यू नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट वन फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स हैव फूड सफिशियंट फॉर द थर्ड स्टेप विल बी डिविजन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई वन फिफ्टी नाउ वी विल रिड्यूस ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव जा ट्वेंटी फाइव सिक्स जा सिक्स थ्री जा एटीन थ्री फाइव जा फिफ्टीन इट मीन्स दैट इफ द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट इज वन फिफ्टी द फूड विल लास्ट फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज सिमिलरली यू हैव टू सॉल्व योर एक्सरसाइज सेवन ए इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल सी एक्सरसाइज सेवन बी वॉट एवर वी आर हैविंग इफ वी आर हैविंग लाइव क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट सेवन बी और इफ वी आर हैविंग वीडियो क्लास देन आई विल सेंड यू एक्सरसाइज सेवन बी ओके देन दिस मच इज फॉर दिस वीडियो